What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sis Minds TV in here with another video. As you see on the screen right now, I'm playing a little bit of my park on NBA 2K16, but just want to come in here and talk to you guys for a little bit. And as you see from the title of the video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions over this. But as you see from the title of the video, will NBA 2K17 be good or bad? Now, it is the month of August, and usually around this time of the year, 2K Sports usually starts to release news about the upcoming NBA 2K game. Now, over the past couple of weeks, 2K Sports has released information and screenshots over their new, I guess, expanded My League, My, you know, um, GM thing. They released, you know, screenshots on that. And also, they released their first official screenshots of the rosters in NBA 2K17 with these two rosters were the 1992 Dream Team and also this year's Men's Olympic Basketball Team. Now, looking at those rosters, like the images, I already know the, the graphics have taken a major downfall. I mean, not downfall. They look the same like last uh, season. The only thing that look different is Clay Thompson and Carmelo Anthony's face scans are a lot better, especially uh, Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson looks like himself in this year's game. In last year's game, he looked like you know not not good or whatever. But you know, will NBA 2K17 be good or bad? I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. Now, I think this is my my honest opinion. Looking at the graphics of this game, I think 2K is putting a lot of emphasis. On gameplay now with in 2k16 there's a lot of issues with the gameplay in my opinion I feel like the gameplay is not fluid at times and is not realistic now in 2k16 they put a lot of emphasis on defense which was good I was glad to see a lot of defensive presence in the game but sometimes the defensive presence in the game hurt it hurt the game to be honest with you let's be honest when you're on a flat, when you're on a fast break and you want to cock back for a dunk, like some, most times, if a defender was behind you, they were gonna block that dunk. You rarely see that in real life. You may see it every now and again, but most times on a fast break or something, a dunk don't get blocked unless it was like the LeBron James uh, block on a uh, Tiago splitter in the 2013 NBA Finals. That's a block, but. Not all this, if I'm cocking back for a tomahawk and then somebody taps a ball away, you barely see that in the NBA because most times it's what? A foul. So they got to change that. Also, like I said, the it just the gameplay honestly just needs to be more fluid. Like I'm tired of it. Like I'm just really sick and tired of it. What they should do is have a consistent balance between offense and defense. That makes more sense. So hopefully... With the graphics looking the way that it does, I already see that it's just like a little few minor upgrades in this year's game as far as like graphics a little bit. From what I've seen as far as the roster and the, the images is concerned, that's all I see. Now, as far as my park, uh, I'm tired of seeing the 7 foot 3 dudes with crazy handles and just, you know, controlling people out there. I hate that. I don't want to see that no more. Like, I'm tired of playing my park. And I got a seven foot three dude. I got a check, and he got handles just like a point guard. And he controlling the lane too. That just makes it bad for everybody. So they need to fix that. They need to fix the glitches and all that kind of stuff. They really do. I'm tired of seeing it. They just, they just, the game needs fixed. And like I said, as far as the graphics is concerned, I don't know if you know the graphics are gonna be any good than 2K16 was. I don't know, but it just needs some major work. Now, last thing is the My Career Mode. Will the My Career Mode be good or not? I don't know. We still haven't had any info. We don't know if Spike Lee is going to be coming back and doing what he did for 2K16 or not. If he does come back, the storyline was great. The storyline was dope. I love the storyline. My problem was not being able to have the choice to choose a nickname. I didn't like frequency vibrations. Why did I have to 
have that nickname. I know it was a part of the storyline, but that nickname was stupid. If it's my career, I should be able to have my control over my career. That's how I honestly feel. Like, I get tired of being stuck with these same templates. Like, I don't like that. So, let us have more control over my career. And let the story mode last longer more than just one season. If it's two, that's cool. But just have it last longer than one season. Because it's no fun. If it's just like one season. Because it only lasts after his, after his rookie season. And that was it. And I didn't like that at all. So, hopefully they can change that up. Because it needs to be changed. But... Just had to come in here and do like a little thoughts video over NBA 2K17. Will it be good or bad? My opinion, I'm on the fence about it. As you know, as the month progresses, we'll see more and more news. And you know I'm going to be bringing you news over NBA uh, 2K17. Uh, hopefully this is a good game. And uh, and all that, you know what I'm saying, with the lack of competition in the NBA video game world, 2K is running things. But they are coasting and they need to do better if they want to, you know, be the undisputed king of NBA video games. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Be sure and like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. We are at 341 subscribers and counting. So be sure and uh, hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on social media, follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. So yeah, man, for all your NBA gaming and sneaker news, it's your boy, Sears, my CV, and I'm out. <laughs>